And welcome back. We're still doing the uh, Sooniverse. This is carrying on from last time when we did the Galaxy Zoo and the Solar Storm Watch. Uh, we're now having to take a quick look at the Measure and Map Our Galaxy, okay, which allows us to help classifying the thousands of images that are coming through from the Spitz Space Telescope. So let's get into it and see what happens. First, we're going to do a walkthrough on the interface. <clears throat> We're looking for bubbles like the one in the bottom left. So let's mark it now. Drag out the center edge to the bubble. Okay, so. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? That's not what I wanted to do. Oi. Something like that. Okay. Star cluster. Where'd the tutorial go? Restart tutorial. Okay, making me do it again. Bubble tool. Show me. It's going to do it for me. Right. Oh, wait, what? Try the other point until it matches the ellipse. There we go. Cluster tool. You need to draw a simple circle around the cluster. Wow, this is crazy. Draw out a circle from the center of the star cluster until it's contained. There we go. There's a tiny green smudge at the top of this image. Just left of center there. That's an extended green object or ego, which we'll mark with another circle. Okay. Ego. There we go. You can use this button to discuss. Find if you find an interesting image, click the star. This button will bring up quick reference. You can also mark galaxies and other objects such as bows, bow shocks and pillars. If you, you should have enough knowledge to get started on your own. Each image is reviewed by several volunteers, so don't be discouraged by a difficult one. Just try your best and thanks for helping us explore the Milky Way. Okay, so I don't really get why I drew... So I drew a bubble there because there's a bubble there, I think. I drew a star there because it's a star cluster. I guess there's another one here, another one here, another one here. So I just keep on doing this, do I? Oh, wait. Star cluster. Uh, star cluster. Star cluster. Star cluster. Um... Oh, that's funny. Does it, um, it doesn't let you do any more than that? No? You're not allowed to. Okay. Well, I think that's... Okay, I'm done. Oh, and it just loads another one. That's a really poor image. That's okay. good. I can't see anything in that. That was terrible. Um, uh, okay, right, well, there's a massive bubble here, I think. Uh, can't see any EGOs. There's definitely a star there. And there was another one there, but the bubble was in the way. Okay, so I think it's just this, you know, when you get down to, oh my, yeah, that's pretty, 
Yeah, it's the edge of the fo edge of the photo. Some of these photos are really bad quality. <laughs> Considering some of them are so high definition. And then you get these. It's like, what took this? Was it the same telescope? Okay, so what the heck is that? That is a red dwarf star. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look, it's star made. Might as well be. Yeah. It's just got a few point lights in there. That's it. It's no. It's pretty cool. There's uh two bubbles down at the bottom. Good spot. Okay. Crap. Like it's almost as if... <clears throat> oh my god. That's a good one, isn't it? It's almost... I think that's a uh, bubble. <laughs> I, think, I think there's a star there. Or is that an ego? It could be UFOs, mate. It could be like right in front of the camera. Who knows? Whoa, what's that? That is pretty awesome. Let's start that. That's cool. Oh, look, there's another one. I know it's only a lens flare, but it looks cool. See, this is the same thing. Oh, is it because they've zoomed in on it a bit? Maybe. Hmm. Who knows? Hmm, yeah, and then, it, then this is the whole thing once you've got into it, is this. We just go through and do this. So that is the milkywayproject.org. There'll be a link in the description. And then we're going to head on to the next one.